Welcome to the Black Gay History Channel. Please like this video and subscribe to this channel for more captivating content. Noah's Ark Jumping the Broom is a film that continues the logo television series Noah's Ark, a dramedy surrounding a group of professional black gay friends and their romantic relationships in early 21st century Los Angeles. In the series, Noah, an openly gay Hollywood screenwriter, falls for another up-and-coming screenwriter, Wade, and the series follows the ups and downs of their romance, Wade's coming out process, and the romantic relationships of Noah's friends Alex, Chance, and Ricky. Created and directed by Patrick and Polk, the film picks up after the show's second season, when Wade and Noah decide to get married and have a getaway winter wedding with their friends in New Hampshire. After many ups and downs in the first two seasons of the series, the movie highlights Noah and Wade's ability to forgive one another's shortcomings and commit to one another. First, let's point out that jumping the broom is an African-American wedding tradition where enslaved couples would jump over a broom after a wedding ceremony to signify to their community that they were married because at the time, slaves couldn't legally become married. Today, many African-Americans honor this tradition to honor the struggle of our ancestors endured to get to where we are today. It's important that this is a factor in the film's title because the time of this movie being filmed Gay marriage was not yet legal in the United States, and in many places around the globe, gay intimacy is illegal and unsafe to be celebrated publicly. Many black gay men around the globe are still jumping the broom to be with their partners, so to speak. Another cool detail about this film is that it starts out with a song from the musical icon Solange Knowles, Sandcastle Disco. The Knowles family, of course, including Solange's older sister Beyonce, have cemented themselves as allies to the LGBT community, and this song being on the soundtrack is another testament to their support. Another casual takeaway from this film is that Noah's fashion has always been interesting and eye-catching throughout the series, and his first outfit in this film is iconic. It doesn't hurt that both Daryl Stevens and Jensen Atwood are very easy on the eyes and make a compelling movie couple. The greatest part about the Noah's Ark series is the friendship between Noah, Ricky, Alex, and Chance. Patrick Keen Polk's commitment to showing black gay men as affluent, successful, supportive friendships is not lost on us. Many black gay men feel starved for representation on screen, especially positive representation, and Patrick Keen Polk purposefully created films for black gay men we were not seeing anywhere else, especially in TV and film productions during 2006. Ricky's character is an example of a successful and sexy gay man who has relied on his sex appeal his whole adult life and realizes having meaningful relationships may be more important to him as he gets older. Chance has a husband, a daughter, and a riveting career as a college professor, but why does him and his husband seem so bored with each other? Alex has been married to the man of his dreams for years, opened a new HIV prevention clinic, and just adopted their first child, OJ, from South Africa but still seems so stressed and unsatisfied. The fun takeaway from this film is the relatable and campy drama the characters go through, all while they try portraying a perfect, polished image to the rest of their friends. New to the Noah's Ark series is Brandon, the perfect representation of a young gay man coming to terms with his newly forming sexuality, who inquisitively asks for advice from the older gay men who have already established lives for themselves. Many younger gay men learn from the older gay men we come in contact with in our first years of coming out, for better or for worse. And Brennan learns a lot of lessons from a group of friends during the wedding trip getaway. There's even more fun to be had on this winter wonderland getaway when Noah's pushy but fabulous boss Brandy and the sexy and hilarious DL rapper Baby Gav show up to throw a monkey wrench in the wedding plans. Though this movie is an ending to a landmark and groundbreaking TV series, it was a beautiful cherry on top of the story that Patrick Keen Polk and the stellar cast told over the years. Many movies that depict black gay characters tend to focus on our trauma or highlight our issues in a white social background. Noah's Ark, Jumping the Broom, tells a different story. That black gay men can support one another, love one another, and have a happy ending. Because we all deserve it.